My name is Mika Tajima, and I'm an artist working in Brooklyn. Before I started Human Synth as a series, I was working on the sculptures called the Meridian series, and it's essentially mood lights that were the first time I was using sentiment analysis in a project that was taking text-based social media feeds, that data, and processing to quantify the mood of a location and of a population. From there, I started thinking about predictive analytics, which is, of course, such a, a huge part of technology's aim these days is to like know as much about us as possible and to try to like predict our desires and our moods and things like that. So I wanted to take the Mood Light series a step further and think about trying to capture the future feeling of a population of a location. Pace Gallery was founded over 60 years ago. We now represent over 100 artists and artists' estates globally, like Mika Tajima, who use technology in their practice in interesting ways. And that's really one of the things that distinguishes Pace from other large galleries. Our CEO, Mark Glimpshire, who has always been a champion of digital art, of artists who are using digital tools to innovate, came to me and he said, Ariel, our, our artists have been calling me and saying they're interested in doing these things called NFT projects. Let's figure out how to support them in this new space as well. Mika talked about for Meridian Gold is that the price of gold, like the tweets she's analyzing for Archive of Feelings, are in some ways a representation of a population sentiment. Archive of Feelings is representing the future feeling of the country for January 1st, and it's broken up into 12 regions of the U.S., and that's further broken up into 15-minute time segments of a 24-hour time period. One color will represent positivity, another color will represent negativity. The volume of tweets is attached to the volume of the smoke, and the direction itself is also related to the sentiment of the real-time tweets that are coming in. It is both a ridiculous and poetic idea. Just think that something as abstract or immaterial could be rendered as something containable. And smoke itself, of course, is like not really capturable. It's not contained within it. It's sort of always dissipating. It's always changing. And it also refers to this idea of something burning. So if we think about data or people's mood, something about that is burning. Um, and I like that kind of metaphor. And the way that it's sort of linked to this practice of divination, like trying to read the future smoke reading, essentially. It's a very ancient practice, of course, and this is sort of a modern or a contemporary take on that idea. And when you think about like smoke reading, it's really putting agency in the hands of the reader so one could look at the smoke and interpret what you would like to see. So it's sort of like left up to the viewer to shape your own future um, and to think about like what the possibilities could be.